Hi everyone, this is Today in History. Today is Monday, September the 2nd, the 246th day of 2024. There are 120 days left of the year. Happy Labor Day. On this day in 31 BCE, before current era, Octavian, later Augustus Caesar, won a decisive victory over Mark Antony in the Battle of Actium. On this day in 1666, the Great Fire of London began accidentally in the house of the King's Baker. It burned for four days and destroyed a large part of the city, including Old St. Paul's Cathedral and about 13,000 homes. On this day in 1792, the September massacres, mass killings of prisoners in Paris, began, instigated by beliefs that political prisoners during the French Revolution were going to rise up in their jails to join a counter-revolutionary plot. On this day in 1898, Anglo-Egyptian forces under Major Generals Harito Herbert Kitchener, later Lord Kitchener, defeated the Sudanese forces of the Maoist leader Abd Allah in the Battle of Omdurman. On this day in 1901, American politician Theodore Roosevelt, who was then the Republican vice presidential candidate, gave the first public speech in which he said, Speak softly and carry a big stick. You will go far. The big stick policy later became a central feature of his presidency. On this day in 1928, American jazz pianist, composer, and band leader Horace Silver, he was an exemplary performer of what came to be called the hard bop style of the 1950s and 60s, was born. On this day in 1945, Ho Chi Minh declared Vietnam independent from France. Also on this day in 1945, World War II came to an end as Japanese Foreign Minister Shigemitsu Mamura and General Yoshihiro signed Japan's formal surrender on the border of the USS Missouri. On this day in 1948, American teacher Krista Corrigan McAuliffe, who was chosen to be the first private citizen in space, was born. She and six other crew members died when the Space Shuttle Challenger exploded shortly after takeoff in 1986. On this day in 1972, English writer J.R.R. Tolkien, who was best known for his innovative fantasies The Hobbit in 1937 and The Lord of the Rings from 1954 to 1955, died at the age of 81. On this day in 1998, Swiss Air Flight 111 crashed off the coast of Nova Scotia, Canada, killing all 229 on board. It was later determined that faulty wires had caused the plane's flammable insulation to catch fire. On this day in 2016, Following much speculation, the death of Islam Karimov, the first president of Uzbekistan, was officially announced. All right, everybody, that's it for today. Today is Monday, September the 2nd, the 246th day of 2024. There are 120 days left in the year. Happy Labor Day.